Michael Sycamore. Happy Tuesday, March 28th, 2023, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Kieran. And hello, I'm Sophia. Yes, we're so excited to be here with you all today on the daily video announcements. Now, let's please stand, place our hand over our heart, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Remember, check your work and school emails throughout the day for this final quarter of the year. And be PBIS responsible young adults. Be safe, be respectful, and be positive problem solvers. Flexbell is participating in Noam and Danny's pencil bouncing challenge. The March Madness is in full swing, and be ready to bounce those pencils and report your numbers. Yes, it's also time to mark and check your calendars for our school events. Show your support for Major League Baseball's opening day this Thursday. Wear your favorite team gear this Thursday, March 30th, to show support for your favorite baseball team. Go Cincinnati Reds! Keep collecting those pop tabs, and the first Student Council of March Madness pop tab contest, Flex Gallon Tally, is due to Mrs. Lally and Mrs. Manning's email by 3 p.m. tomorrow. Again, that is to their email by 3 p.m. The deadline is tomorrow, Wednesday, March 29th. Yes, keep collecting those pop tabs and turn them into your Flexbell teachers and may the best Flexbell team win. I can't wait to see who moves on in the bracket and we'll share a retake of the bracket at the end of this episode. Make sure to email your team tallies by 3 p.m. tomorrow. That's 3 p.m. tomorrow. Now, over to birthdays. Happy birthday to students Luke B, Victoria J, and Oliver E, all celebrating today. And happy birthday to staff member Mr. Starkey. Hope you enjoy celebrating your wonderful day. Okay, now over to Mr. Harris with some quick announcements, and then on to our Sports Center recap of the Student Council's March Madness Pop Tap Tournament Bracket Final Four Predictions. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, got an important announcement from the Media Center. All library books are due back by Monday, April 3rd. That's this Monday, April 3rd. Very important. They're going to start packing up books Monday for the new move to the new junior high, so all books have to be in by April 3rd. If your book is lost, we will apply the replacement fee to your parent portal account. And obviously the fee depends on the book. So get those library books back to the Media Center, ASAP. All right, if you, uh, if you made a straight A second quarter, okay, so all second quarter straight A students, if you own straight A's during the second quarter and received an email regarding the Cincinnati Reds straight A program, please see Mrs. Manning Counseling Office before April 6th to claim your ticket voucher. Congratulations to those students who did that. So pick up those three Reds tickets. All right, that's it for me. You guys have a great day, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Now on to Mr. Harris and crew. Well, I don't know about you guys, but this is my favorite time of year is, you know, everybody thinks of March Madness and everything like that. Well, here at Sycamore Junior High, we have our own version of March Madness, and it's a great pop tab uh, reveal, the bracket reveal, and I'm really excited about it this yeah, year. Yeah, you know, it's been, it's been a long time. The last time we did this was uh, right around March 10th of 2020, and, and we all know uh, by March 13th, we, we were out of here and, Backed up. and never came back. So we had the great bracket reveal in 2020. We never got to do the contest, and we never did it in, tw in, uh, in 21 or 22. And here we are in 23, and I know a lot of people have been hoarding a lot of pop tabs. Yeah. So we are, we are ready to go with today's bracket reveal. And, and with that said, um, let's take a look at the East Bracket. All right, so the East Bracket is up there. And uh, as you can see, um, you know, it's an interesting bracket. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I think so too. We, we definitely have, have some, some veterans in there. You know, what, what sticks out to you when, when you look at the East Bracket? Well, speaking of veterans, I mean, you've got, you know, the first round matchup. Um, you got George and Adams versus Harris and Hammer. I mean, so you got you know two of the retirees, two of the people leaving here, yes, yes. seasoned veterans. 
going against each other. So, you know, I think, you know, I'm feeling strong for that Harris team. I don't think Adams has a chance. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. But that's one of the things I think want to be one of the more interesting contests, and that's East Bracket there. Yeah, I think the East Bracket looks pretty tough, especially when you've got um, some people who have been here for, for that length of time. They know how these contests work, and um, I, I think that's going to be a really tough bracket to, to come out yeah, of. Yeah, to come out of. How about you? Uh, our next bracket that we're putting up there is the Midwest. So you can see that Midwest bracket up there. Hmm. What do you think about the Midwest bracket on your first impressions there? Well, I, I mean, some some really interesting combination teams. I, I see the Dworkin and then the Huffman putting the, the science and the language arts. I'm not quite sure that's going to go well together. One's more, you know, creative and one's more, you know, you got the scientific theory and this has got to be this. And right. I, I just don't know if that matches up well in this particular tournament. But I, I guess what really sticks out to me is the, is the Heil and Derbyshire Darbyshire has been here for a while. She has seen how this works. Um, she's 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 a veteran at the Pop Tab tournament. But then Heil, you know, sometimes we get these new teachers in, and they don't know any better. Right. So they, they may just, just go all out. You they know, do. they they go all out, and then you know, at, at that point, I, th- I think it does start to scare off some of the other teams because mm-hmm. they're like, who's this rookie, and why does he think he's in this? And then and they are in it. Right. So uh, I definitely see that that Heil might be able to rally his group and, and actually take out Derbyshire in round one. And I think if Heil takes out Derbyshire, he could 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 possibly make mm, it to the Upset that final alert. Four. You heard it here first, okay? Heil <clears throat> maybe reaching that final four. So just just shout out there. So uh, let's take a look at the South bracket. Very interesting. Um, you know, one of the things that I notice here is is you've got a lot of teams together, but then you got the the Reese and the Spielman. They're they're solo. What do you think about Reese being solo? Does that work to his advantage, or is this going to be problematic for him? He Reese is a competitor. He's a wily kind of caney veteran, and he's a competitor. And I think being by himself will spur him. I think you know he can be a surprise coming out of that bracket. You know, I do remember back in the day when we used to have the uh, the canned food drive. Like Reese would throw himself into that canned food drive. Nobody was even close. And we don't have the canned food drive anymore. Do you think he throws himself into this? And and, and it may happen. So uh, you know, we're throwing that gauntlet out there to Reese. You know, he could, he could be one of those people that surprises in the South region. Yeah, or or even Spielman. Her, you know, being alone as well. I think that could work to their advantage. Yep, I think it worked. work. We'll see what happens. All right, so uh, I know we've got a lot of people on the edge of their seat. They have not seen their classroom up on the board yet, so let's hope you're in this one. Let's take a look at the West Bracket. All right, so we've got the West Bracket there. Uh, that's an interesting-looking looking bracket. That is, because I'm sure what sticks out to you, we, we all knew that this competitor was going to be in the bracket. We know that this is kind of where the where the whole Pop Tab tournament is going to live. Let's talk about Tanaka. Yeah, I mean, he's in there, okay? You know, he's a little bitter at times and everything, and I think that bitterness will fuel his drive to win this Pop Tab contest. I mean, he's gone to lengths that we had to put a rule in we do. just for Tanaka. Yes, we, we do have a rule. We, it's called the Tanaka Take. We had to put this in about six years ago because... We don't know what was going on after school hours, but there would be these evenings where pop tabs were suddenly missing, and then all of a sudden they were in Tanaka's room. I'm not saying he took them. I'm not saying that. Yeah, we're we're not quite sure what happened. There were a lot of text messages going back and forth, but we do have a rule. Let's talk about the Tanaka take. So if your team is eliminated, you are not really out of the tournament because those teams that have advanced – they want your pop tabs, and they will come to you, and they will bribe you. This is the Tanaka take uh, to try to get your pop tabs to slide over to them for that next round. So they might offer you donuts, they might offer to wash your car, but there are going to be some big bribes that go on once teams are knocked out. So we call that the uh, Tanaka take, and that goes back many years now. Now Tanaka, he's had some great tournaments, but. Let's just put it out there. It's no secret. He's never won. He has made it to the Final Four, but he has never won the tournament. So maybe he could be hungry his, for this. This could be his year. Hey, he's had three years off. So, yeah. you know, if, if he... Could be his year. We'll see what happens. So All right. Let's talk about our Final Four. Okay. Let's, uh, let's start with the East Region. 
I got Calhoun and Wolf coming out of there. I, I, I think, or Callahan, excuse me. Callahan, he's got those big classes and everything like that. Um, you know, I, I think he could come out with just that numerical advantage coming in there, mixed with that youthful experience of Wolf. That, that's interesting what you said there, because I was kind of thinking the same thing, except I went with Henson and Gates. I think when you have a band or a choir, I think those people are used to working together. I think that does work to their advantage. I do see them coming out of the East region. I think it's going to be either band or choir. Yeah, band or choir coming out of that region. I agree. All right, let's move on to the Midwest. Uh, I got uh, – hey, I'm, I'm shooting at the rookie, okay? I'm taking Heil. I think Heil's going to come out of the Midwest. I think that youthful enthusiasm there, he's my Cinderella surprise pick out of the East or out of the Midwest. Yeah, I, I know Heil's probably going to put in a good fight, but I see Craver in that bracket, and I know Craver year after year – Always tends to make it to the Final Four. I don't see why this year is going to be any different. I am going with Foley and Craver in the Midwest. Let's move over to the South. Foley, does he still – he teaches here, right? <laughs> okay. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, in the South, um, this is a bracket um, – this is a tough one. Um, I went with uh, with the veterans here. I went with uh, Morris, Senora Morris, and, uh, and Abbas Lee. I just think they, they've seen this before. They, they know how this works. I don't think this is going to stress them out at all. I definitely see them coming out of the South. Okay. A uh, little difference. I, I, I got Reese coming out of the South. I, I think, like I said, once he, he's competitive, a competitor, once he puts his head to it and kind of throws himself into it, I think he could make this real exciting coming out of the West. So I'm shooting for Mr. Reese there. And, and I know we've talked about this before. When you, you know, this, this is a really difficult bracket. Oh, I think this can be anybody's bracket. So yep. that, that's, that's definitely the, the toughest one, those, those teams that were seated in the South. All right, finally, let's talk about the West. Who do you got coming out of the West? I got Teach and Tanaka. I, I think. Two shady characters there, operating on the fringe and everything like that. You know, I think they'll stretch the limits to try to win that bracket. How and, about you? Uh, yeah, no, I went with uh, Rutledge and Arad. Um, I think that is a really good team together. I know they've had some some experience together. Rutledge, um, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think she's been collecting since COVID. So um, I, I think she's ready to roll. I think she's just going to sweep right through this uh, particular bracket. Okay. So. So bring those pop tabs in. I mean, it's you guys who make this exciting. I mean, if you guys bring those pop tabs in to those respective teachers, hey, it'll be a competitive contest for everybody. And just just a couple of side things. One, this is for the Ronald McDonald House of Cincinnati. And, uh, boy, I think it was about five years ago, we were the top junior high school in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. I think we had over 100 gallons of pop tabs. I think it was 499 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. So this is going to be in your flex bells, and these will be collected in gallon increments. So you can put your pop tab either in gallon uh, Ziploc bags or in those um, milk, milk cartons. Make sure that you clean those milk cartons out before you start putting pop tabs in them. Any final? No. Uh, look at the great contest here, guys. Um, you know, and let's have a little fun with this. Sound off. Good. Thanks. Have a great day. And remember to turn in your pop tab tallies via email to Mrs. Lally and Mrs. Manning tomorrow by 3 p.m. That's Wednesday the 29th by 3 p.m. And go Waves!